Greetings folks, in this video I want to talk about the Plundervolt security vulnerability affecting the Intel CPUs from the Skylake 6th generation all the way to the newest 10th generation. Link in the description below for plenty of information talking about what the Plundervolt security vulnerability is, but as a laptop owner essentially what this means is that any laptop that is using the SGX software guard extension and undervolting their CPU puts their CPU in a compromised state. Now this has very little impact on most of us, but regardless, there is still BIOS updates that are rolling out that are ultimately removing the ability to undervolt, whether this is in software such as extreme tuning utility or throttle stop, or within the BIOS as well. First message is to the consumer. Do some research and find out whether or not this latest BIOS update that you wish to install on your device does indeed have this Plundervolt security vulnerability. And at that point, understand that you are going to have to make a choice. Do you wish to retain your undervolting performance or thermal performance or negate that to have a little bit more secure machine? That is entirely on to you. Link in the description below for a forum to at least help you get started at searching for your particular laptop to see if indeed this is an issue. Two, this is to the manufacturer. Please be transparent in your notes next to the BIOS on your support page that states that this is the Plundervolt Security Vulnerability BIOS update. And then from there, the individual can, of course, research this to see if that's something that they wish to put on their machine. Please do this, as oftentimes, when big BIOS updates like this come out, the ability to flash back to a previous BIOS and firmware can be nearly impossible. So just a heads up, this is very important. So one, consumers, do your research. Two, manufacturers, be a little bit more transparent. Now this is to all the manufacturers. There is a potential solution moving forward. If we can disable SGX within the BIOS and then from there enable BIOS undervolting, this could be a problem solved. With the understanding that you know how far to allow the user to be able to push their undervolt within the BIOS, we do not want people bricking their machine. I have a solution for this. Please feel free to email me. I'm more than willing to help you. Furthermore, there is something else we could do beyond this, speaking again to the manufacturer, for a future chassis design to be able to implement something that would make this fail safe 100% so those that push their laptop too far and get a black screen will be able to regain everything back and reset itself easily. Again, please feel free to contact me and I can show you how to build this into your next design. This is going to be very important for the manufacturers out there that wish to continue using Intel CPUs as they have been running quite hot and they do not seem to be running any cooler as time moves on. Of course, time will tell, but we don't really have a lot of time now, do we, considering AMD CPUs are right around the corner and they're looking pretty good. And they also don't have the plunder vault issue, security, vulnerability. All right, folks, that's going to do it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed this public service announcement and it helped anyone. Links in the description below discussing the plunder vaults. You can see just what that entails. Perhaps it will affect you. More than likely it will not. And then from there, where you can seek information so you know which BIOS you will be installing on your machine and whether or not that will indeed have this security vulnerability patch. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. This is Bob of All Trades, and I'll see you in the next video.